Now to a horrific incident of domestic violence in Rockport. Police say a man is responsible for the death of his girlfriend and shooting another woman. Now, the injured woman was able to escape to another house where neighbors then called police. She was taken to a hospital where she is currently recovering. Our Brandon Schaff joins us here tonight with the latest information in this case. Brandon, what happened there? Hey, good evening, Leslie and Mike, and there were more people in the house as well. Three other teenage girls and police were able to safely get them all out of that house. After SWAT breached the home, they found another shooter dead from what they said appeared to be a self inflicted gunshot wound. We still have to confirm this through investigation, but we do believe that is the same firearm that he used to shoot both of the victims. That's Rockport Police Department Chief Greg Stevens talking about the weapon found near Richard Becker, who they believe was the shooter. After an argument late Thursday night at this South Mathis Street home, police say Becker shot his girlfriend, Sharon Simmons, and another woman, Loretta Jones. A rare crime in Rockport. Stevens said that they were prepared for it. We try to Make sure that we have uh, the right equipment, the right training, and the right mindset to deal with things like this in the event that such a rarity would occur. Stevens said he realized they needed SWAT for the situation, calling Corpus Christi Police Department. SWAT breached the home just before 2 a.m., and upon entering the home, they found Becker dead. They said an investigation will be carried out to find out what led to the violence. To determine how this happened. How did we get to this terrible outcome? Locals Debbie Guzman and Lee Williams have lived in the area for years and said that there was nothing like this before. I just think it's tragic, you know, for something like that to happen. I'm not sure why a person would have that, that frame of mind to do something like that. Guzman said while what happened was tragic, the community will support the family how they can. Hopefully our town will join together and help with help, and we will. Rockport's that way. And Stevens says that his department stayed at the scene until it was secure around 4.30 in the morning. And he says that there is no indication as to what led to this point, but wants the public to know that there is no longer any danger. Leslie, Mike. Let's say tragic situation there, Brandon. Thank you for that report.